Hello and welcome back everyone to another edition of Dime Box Discoveries. It was a very fruitful weekend up in Xenia, Ohio at the Greene County Expo Center. Uh, dime boxes and nickel boxes both really kind of came through. Dime boxes, this half and over here. Nickel boxes, this half and over here. And some random stuff in the top left corner there. In fact, let's start at the top left corner before we get into the dime and nickel boxes. I think you're going to be surprised to see, especially out of the nickel boxes, to be honest with you. Um, I stepped up a little bit. Picked up the Reggie Jackson for six bucks, which is a pretty good comp. And considering that there's no shipping involved, I'm still working on doing uh, all the A set team sets from 70s on up. Uh, Campy for 75 cents is a team card for a dollar. Billy Williams for 50 cents. Turns out I actually had that one. And then one Boomer Sison for a quarter. Um, getting into the dimes, which is what you're here to see, I'm sure, in the nickels. Thought it was some good stuff. Interesting. Craig Biggio, rookie card, technically, I guess, um, out of 89 score. 89, yeah, 89 score. How about a Rod Carew Yahoo? Just fun to say. Um, baseball morals, Alexander Cartwright, Cal Ripken, that's a Topps Gold, which I always pick up Topps Gold when I see him. And Ichiro, that's nice, um, from an update set. Um, Mauricio Dubon, I'm collecting all of his as a PC. There's another Dubon. I always love this card with the checklist. From 95 Pinnacle, these guys had amazing 94 seasons um, there with all four of them. Talk about studs back in the day in the 90s. And then several more Griffies, Griffey Jr. in the tops, Griffey Jr. in the upper deck, Griffey Jr. in a different upper deck, another Griffey Jr. And then how about Bo Jackson, members only from Stadium Club? I always like the members only. Diamond Kings, anybody who's seen my videos before, you know that I love all the art type of cards like that. Robin Yount, uh, Greg Maddox, there's a Ricky Henderson, there's a Reds team card. Um, and then a couple local guys, Adam Heiser out of Muller High School, Mark Lewis out of Hamilton High School, local to Cincinnati, Ohio. That's where I grew up. Rusty Kuntz, giggity. Len Matuzak's a local guy. Bill Doran's a local guy. Pat Tabler's a local guy. And a Paul Mauder's nice to pick up. Those are all 84 Fleer. And they're sharp, man. They look great like they just came out of the box. Um, what doesn't look great are these cards. These Conlins. I had never seen these before. These green with the gold border. These look awesome. They're in horrific shape. Some of us can walk around with them in their pocket or something. These are terrible shape, but they're beautiful cards. I had to grab them for a dime. There's some over here you'll see in the nickel here in a moment. But Christy Matthewson, Charlie Galbert. Um, you see just, I mean, all these different guys and these beautiful, beautiful cards with the foil on it. Old Stubble Beard. Now there's a name for you. Um, Stan Kovaleski. And then some Satchel Page. Ed Roush because he's a red. Honus Wagner reprint, obviously, and the Texas Heat Classic. That's uh, Nolan Ryan and his son, Reed Ryan. Beautiful card. That's Reed, right? Should be. Yep, that one's Reed. Um, this was really cool. Don't know if they noticed this. This is, I give Topps credit for this one. Victor Robles, not a big deal. It's in the Heritage or whatever that one is. Um, and uh, But what's cool about it is, it's in the 74. If you remember in 74, the Dodgers had some short prints that were nationally into Washington because they thought they were moving there. Well, they've kind of come and done the reverse on these. Washington National players with San Diego National League. This is short print. Found that for a dime. I was very, very, very pleased with that. And a Randy Johnson artist proof um, out of that one. So I was very happy to snag that. Now, if you see my stuff, you also know I like box bottoms. I just think they're neat. This is St. Louis Cardinals from the 88 Fleer box bottom. Ozzie Gann from 86 Fleer, box bottom. And then these are from the Baseball Inquirer set. Just some interesting kind of stuff. Ken Kemeny and Tony Gwynn. I just think that they're really cool. I like oddball stuff. I love oddball stuff, not going to lie. It's just kind of something that I find exciting. Uh, the U.S. Olympic cards, I always pick them up whenever I've seen these. are Impel. Yep, Impel from 92. And then a bunch of college ones. Um, I got a friend who collects all the UC players because he went there. So you can see Nick Van Axel, Art Long. Just Corey Blunt, Herb Jones, a whole bunch of different UC players. So I got this for him. And then Brian Grant went to Xavier, the Crosstown Rivals. So I had to snag all the Brian Grants I could. Um, once again, an art card. I love these out of the classics. They're beautiful. They're just neat, different. They take you back to the 90s, and I dig that. Um, there's some John Stocktons. There's an electric court John Stockton. Some more Stocktons. Carl Malone. I had a friend who collects all Carl Malones. This is really cool. David Justice in the Foot Locker. I've snagged some of these before with like Bo Jackson and King Griffey Jr. in the slam dunk contest from Foot Locker from back in the day. This is David Justice. Now, what people may not know, David Justice actually went to college on a basketball scholarship. 
Um, didn't like the long runs that his team did for conditioning. So quit the basketball team and join the baseball team. That seemed to have worked out well for him. So there's your, if you didn't know it before, now you know the rest of the story, so to speak. Love wild cards. They actually were incorporated in Hamilton, Ohio, just outside of Cincinnati. And then since it has the 20 on it, I always like to grab the one with the stripes. And there's a top score of Larry Johnson from his rookie year. So just some different stuff in basketball. Um, now we'll go back to some vintage. Here's some tops. All these are 1980s. Yep, 1980s. Winfield. These are actually, most of them are in pretty good shape. Winfield. Yaz. Palmer. Trammell. A lot of Hall of Famers for a dime. Willie McCovey. Gary Carter. Reggie Jackson. Jim Wynn, who was a stud from Hamilton in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, this Brewers one is actually a pretty cool team card because on the back, if you remember, the Brewers were the Pilots originally. So this has combined Pilots and Brewers team records. That doesn't mean anything to anybody else. I just thought it was neat. Um, rookie pitchers with Matt Keogh on it. And there's Dave Winfield, 1984. So those were decent. Um, anybody who's seen my videos before also know that I like to collect all the tops all-star rookie trophy cards. I have every single one now from 1960 up until this year as I'm starting to snag all the Series 1 and Series 2. was able to get Randy Rosarena. And then some of the kind of different variation cards. I don't collect all those, chase them, but if I see them, I buy them all. So those are nice. And then here's a couple that I just enjoy with the American flag on the cards. Piazza Boggs and another Piazza with the American flag on it. Um, PC Mark McGuire. So with Diamond Nickels, I honestly, if it's something that looks like I haven't gotten before, I just pick it up and go with it. And sometimes I end up with two of the same card if I'm not even paying attention, but that's okay. So there's some McGuire's that I may need, and in Oakland A's, my favorite team, um, just a sticker card. Now we get into the nickels. Nickels are where things get really interesting and really fun. You can see we have some interesting ones up there if you know what you're looking at. And how about the Jack Morris, considered one of the worst produced cards from Fleer, that was in there. Let's start up here um, once again. Um, these are all David Justice, local Cincinnati guy. So I like to pick up Cincinnati guys. Walter Alston's from outside of Cincinnati. How Morris is just a red. Dubon, you know, from my PC, and then Phil Dahlhauser. I was running out of time. The show was closing, so I just had to grab whatever cards there were to kind of fill out to 100. Um, actually, to 200, just to make it kind of an even round number to make life easy. A couple stickers cards. Um, Ozzy and, of course, you know, Dale Murphy. Uh, I love the Flair. Fl I love these Flair from this year. I think they just look so good. When you got a Hall of Fame Molitor, I'm going to pick it up for a nickel. This one is Eric Davis, Dale Murphy, and um, Kevin McReynolds. There you go. Dave Parker, Silver Slugger. There's some Tops Gold. Not the winners, the regular Tops Gold, Greg Vaughn and Jim Abbott. Love the art cards. I'm, I'm a sucker for them. Trey Mancini. Here's some of those Fleer Pro Vision with Clemens and Gooden. Here's some of those Upper Deck. And then these are in the nickel box. Similar to the dime we saw earlier. These are now in the nickel with the flags. Alomar, Justice, and Crook. And just a Tops Chrome of Vlad Guerrero. Once again, when I'm staring at something for a nickel, you don't think, you just kind of grab it. A um, bunch of more McGuire's for a nickel. So, some of these ones. That with this came out of um, Long John Silver's back in the day. Some McGuire to some score sets. So, you can just see I picked up several of those. Um, just to add to the PC. I don't know if they have them. I don't think I do, but if I do, oh well, that's fine. Uh, we showed some of these in the dime before. Now there were some nickel of these. The Conlins, I love the Conlin in color. I know that seems blasphemous, but I think it's cool. Carl Hubble looks great. Here's some more of these gold ones, green with the gold border, or green with the gold foil around it. Smokey Joe Wood, Earl Averill, Eddie Collins. So some Hall of Famers in there. But you can see, I mean, they're, speaker, they're just in terrible shape. Like, did someone walk around with these in their pocket? I don't know what they're doing. But for a nickel piece, I thought, why not, you know? I um, was able to pick up some more of the Topps All-Star Trophy guys. Trevor Rogers, I couldn't verify Patrick Wisdom. I ended up picking up three of them. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, opening day, slight variation um, compared to the regular set. And there's a couple more. It's the top school of Eric Karos. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, let's go to here. If you know what this is, then you're doing your homework. You know it. These are one of the few chase cards from the Junk Wax era. This is the top active career batting leaders. They did them in 89 and 90. They were out of, I think, Kmart, Tops did them. They came in like rack packs. You can only get them there. So they're not easy to find. They're one of the few things that are worth something of chasing. I found them before in the nickel box and dime boxes. In fact, I found this Henderson in the dime box back a while back. Um, 
But here's a yacht for a nickel. These things go for anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks. So for a nickel, I was ecstatic and it's in pretty good shape. Uh, Mike Schmidt, box bottom from Tops, 89. Craig Vizio, Duracell. I got a guy who watches all my videos. He's a BG grad, Bowling Green grad. Um, Oro Hershiser went to Bowling Green, I believe. So I grabbed the one just so I can give Bowling Green a shout out for him, even though I'm a Miami guy, we're Mac rivals. But I always appreciate anybody who leaves me some comments and tells me something. So leave me some comments, tell me who you're looking for, and I'll see if I can uh, find some and give you a shout out. Um, these came out of Tuck Cut Out of some magazines. Um, I don't know which ones they were. I think that was the yeah, Baseball Cards Magazine. Here's a Larry Walker, Marquis Grissom rookie, which is kind of cool. Um, and Todd Zeal rookie, which is kind of cool. I need to trim these up a little bit better, though. Bagwa out of the Topps Magazine. Dave Winfield out of Topps Magazine. Once again, I love oddball stuff, man. Out of Kraft. Kraft Singles. So got yourself some cheese. Gary Sheffield. This is the Rediscover Tops. I like to grab those when I see them for a dime or a nickel. Uh, George Brett. And this is the uh, Boardwalk Baseball set. Um, a couple of playing cards with Sandberg, Puckett, and Ricky Henderson. The sticker of the National League, I like picking up the ones that are the league ones. Uh, Mickey Moyndean, this is out of Fleer. I didn't even know what it was, so I bought it for a nickel. Um, I think I looked it up and it just came in packs back in the day. Mike Schmidt from Ames, some Woolworth of Henderson. Henderson, two different Hendersons. I found that interesting. They are different numbers. So, um, And Dave Parker, Woolworth, that'll go to the friend of mine who PCs them. How about a Tiger? Once again, this was the end of the night, so I snagged it. Or end of the day, it was closing up, so I just threw that in the pile. Um, Gary Sheffield, I love the ones that are like the um, not legally licensed one. They're just kind of fun from back in the day. Um, Team USA came from Dairy Queen, Robin Ventura. Love Team USA cards. Jeff Bagwell, Post. And then two of these Daryl Strawberries. They're a nickel apiece. They had like 10 of them in there. I only grabbed two. I probably should have grabbed all 10 of them a nickel apiece. I'm probably going to regret that later. But for now, they're the tops, glossy. Uh, look great from 1984. Look fantastic. And there's a Dave Parker, KB Toys. Once again, that'll go to my friend. Um, so those are great. The yacht was fantastic. The oddballs are beautiful. Uh, very, very happy to find those. We'll come back to those in a minute. These, uh, you know what? I didn't even look through these. There were a bunch of these in the stack. I saw the Warren Spawn and a couple others. I just grabbed every single one of them. They don't go for a lot. They're from 1977. They're the Renata Galasso, those TCMA cards um, from 77. They just look cool. I just think they look cool for a nickel apiece. Spawn, Bobby Thomas. Uh, Thompson, sorry, receivers, Smokey Burgess, you can see Eno Slaughter, a bunch of Hall of Famers in here, Ralph Kiner, um, Ashburn, Hank Sauer, Don Larson, Jackie Jensen, you can see all these different guys in here, um, Duke Snyder was in there, Casey Stengel, I mean, and they're in great shape, most of these are in fantastic shape, Bob Feller, was a fantastic one, um, Robin Roberts, so these are great, uh, Roy Campanelli, he's born on the same day I am, so I always like to pick him up when I see him. Uh, great uh, knee release player when we're field, so picked him up and Orlando, Orlando Cepeda just because. Um, I don't even know what's back here. Let's pick this up. This one came out of a nickel. I had no idea this Billy Wagner gold rush went for as much as it does. It's anywhere from like 250 to 6 bucks, depending on what you're looking at. So for a nickel, I was happy to pick up. I just thought it was cool because Billy Wagner's cool and it was a gold rush. So that one was one of my better steals of the show. Oh, yeah, this is a lot of junk wax era stuff that. If you're a junk wax guy, this is great stuff. If you're not, then you won't care. But Bo Jackson, both the Master Blaster and Rifleman. There's Bo Jackson again. Bo Jackson give us some art cards. Canseco, the Pro Vision. Thomas, a bunch of, bunch of Frank Thomases in the nickel. A whole bunch of them. Kirby Puckett with a giant bat. That's just a fun classic card. A couple of Jeff Bagwells. This is the rookie card, I guess, is the um, upper deck high number, 755. That is the Bagwell rookie card in there for a nickel. Uh, Bagwell, silver signature. Uh, the Swingman always looked cool to me. 85 Strawberry. 93 Bowman was just a cool set of cards. Same with 90 Leaf. I like those with Boggs, Trammel, Reigns, and Molitor. Uh, Andy Van Slyke. It's the Black Leaf. Um, there's Musina with the Fleer Provision. Some more Swingman with Manley and Thomas. There's Pete Rose and the Diamond Kings. Robin Yount and the 87 Donners. One of those um, different sets they did. There's Henderson. How about Rookie Threats with Grissom, Delano DeShields, and Larry Walker. Another Dave Parker, another Dave Parker. Uh, I just thought this one was really cool. It's a Deo Nomo, and it's written in Japanese on the front and on the back. So you can read that. More power to you. I cannot. I thought it was cool. Another Bagwell, Crash of the Game, and a Chipper Jones um, tops out of Post Serial. So that's really cool. And all that's left is this bottom corner here. Um, I'll tell you what. This was a good starter set. If you want to put together an 82 Fleer, I think it's 82. 82, yep, 82 Fleer set. 
I'm going to roll through all these real quickly, but look at all these Hall of Famers, 82 Fleer sets. This is unreal. Morris, Carter, Molitor, Perez, Dawson, Gossage, Eckersley, Carlton, Bench, Trammell, Jim Rice, Palmer, Fingers, Yount, Yaz, Blylevin, Joe Negro. All those Hall of Famers in the 82 Fleer that were in there nickel. Rusty Cunts, again, giggity. Pete and his son. And then a couple of local guys again, Leon Durham and Kent DeColvey, once again. Look at this Matty Alou, 74 tops. And this thing is a beauty. You can see all it has is a slight ding on the corner, but it is a beauty ever else for nickel. I thought that was great. Tony Perez, Willie Stargell. The Stargell's not in, okay, the Stargell's in kind of bad shape, but it's fine. Um, home run leaders with, uh, with Schmidt on there. There's a Pete Rose. Carlton Fisk, 85. Brett, 84. Yount, 84. Tommy John, 83. And then some Rod Carews at 80, 85. There is as a team leaders card. Um, there is some leaders with Seaver and Carlton. Bill Lee, the spaceman. Ron Guidry in 79. 83, Phil Necro. Yes, and 87 top so as they can say go. You can't beat that. And then an 83 Fleer, Jim Palmer. 83 Fleer, Tony Perez. Alan Trammell in the 86 Fleer. And an 81 Donner Charbonneau to round it out. So to recap, Nichols, this half of it. Dimes, this half of my stuff at the top. It was a great show. Nickels and dime boxes really came through. Some stuff with some decent value, I guess, if you're worried about dollars and cents. But some really some stuff that's going to be great in my PC and other stuff that is fantastic for trade bait. If you see anything you need, let me know. Um, comment with something you found interesting or some cards I should look for for you. Anyway, have a great day and keep enjoying collecting in the hobby.